Well, welcome along to the local music show with myself, John Sinclair, and of course, uh, a producer and brilliant uh, person all around, Kevin Gorn. Welcome along. Thank you very much. I think I've been promoted, have I, John? Yeah, I've kind of made you producer because that's what you do. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Make you come in and tell me what to do, so you're a producer. Great. And you've produced a pretty good show tonight, so tell us a bit about what's coming up. Well, tonight, first of all, we've got Mr. Jamie Borland, um, who runs a promotion, local promotion company, and he'll be talking about his charity gig that he's doing at The Shed this week, um, with some top-class bands on, and needless to say, and we'll be hearing some of their tracks as well, so that'll be nice to hear, f- hear from them. Also, I think we'll actually hopefully be doing a phone interview to one of the bands as well, so that That'll be good. Um, and then hot on the heels of Mr. Jamie Borland, we'll have a interview that I did with Sue Lavender from The Sound House. I uh, did that a couple of weeks ago. And she'll be uh, telling us all about the refurb that's taken place. Oh, this is the one where you told me they'd made her downstairs and you had me... You had me going last That's week. That's it. I told, I told you they dug the basement out, and it was like a <laughs> and I believed a, you a fifteen hundred seater capacity mega venue with bars. I was dead excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, I it's thought... it, it's quite a, it's quite a reasonable refurb, but not quite on that scale. Um, so she'll be she'll be telling us <laughs> why the Sound House is the um, the go to venue of uh, two thousand and fifteen. And okay, and uh, Jamie Borland is here. He came in and said, I've no idea what I'm doing here, really. Uh, uh, do I have to talk and things? And he's been up uh, quite a long time today as well. Uh, so come into the microphone just a bit, Jamie. Just say hello. Uh, just want to make you comfortable as well, you uh, say. Hello. Hello. Uh, are you, are you, you're feeling less nervous than you were when you came in? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, think so? Yeah. yeah. We're going to ask you questions in a minute. You're okay with that, aren't you? Oh, my head's going to hurt then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, before that, let's play a track by... Um, uh, the world can wait. This is called uh, Rabbit in the Headlights. Which is going to play eventually. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Welcome, wait, and uh, rabbit in the headlights. Uh, and we're playing that uh, actual band for a reason. And we'll have Sully from the band on the show a little bit uh, later on. But uh, uh, Jamie got a gig coming up Thursday, understand? And Kevin knows all about it, so he's going to talk to you about it. And the band, the World Cup Wait, is one of the bands that will be at the gig, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. kind of what I just said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, yeah. So, hi, Jamie. <laughs> you right? Welcome, yeah, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell tell us a little bit about your gig on about so, your. Um, charity gig on th- it's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so basically, a, a while back, um, I did 
a charity gig with sort of a similar lineup, and um, with I've gone. Was that at the shed as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, LC Promotions, we have a good relationship with the shed, so we mm. stick to there really. Um, and basically, we're just we're just giving back because it's Christmas now, and we're just getting the bands, and we're just giving something back to. A the charity that we've chose, which is Rainbows, a local charity. Um, is that the same charity as last time? Or yeah, yeah. Right? We're, yeah. Well, eventually, I think we will do a different charity. Maybe um, we're going to plan on doing a charity event at least. Well, that is a good charity, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love what the what Rainbows do. do. Yeah, 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 they're great. Um, obviously, everyone should support them any way you can. So, um, and yeah, the the lineup. Um, it's sort of different to what we planned on, but it's it's a perfect lineup anyway. It's all cover bands. It's family, you know, easy listening music, not you know our usual heavy metal stuff. Mm. So, is well, there a reason in particular you chose this particular lineup? Or uh, the lineup that we planned on having was like the Bench that Rocked, Eight Miles High, uh, Beneath the Lights, but they were all busy. Which obviously it's Christmas, so yeah, that's have true. A lot of stuff planned. Um, the welcome weight we had on. Uh, Welcome Weight Velocity and Castle Hill we had on our last um, charity show and they all said you know do it again get us on board I was like okay so I approached them again they were on board straight away um, and then obviously we put stating the obvious into the mix of that because mm. we've got a goodish relationship there um, as John you'll know from the last yeah, budget yeah exactly um, so went to them they were on board straight away as well yeah, brilliant um, so, so you've got a formula that works why change yeah, it yeah, yeah exactly yeah well i often wonder though is a charity gig like this presume d- does all the money go to the charity or do the bands get paid or is, is everybody doing it for free then or at, the, at this particular event everyone is on board for free um wow that's pretty good then yeah it? a i big mean commitment that, from the that, bands and stuff that's it that is great for yeah. them obviously like um obviously i've said to them all i'll have you on shows where i will pay you and whatnot. Mm. Um, so you know I'm glad that they are on board giving something back like like I say it's, it's LC Promotions and the bands where you know they've had the year gigging and you know getting paid for that so now maybe it's time for us all just to it's putting a bit back isn't it really yeah, yeah 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 and yeah. I guess the money comes from money on the door do you do anything else on the night um, Rainbows are providing us with um, the charity buckets um, so we'll do that um I'm not sure because obviously there's two of there's three people else on board with this. Sure. Um, I'm not sure what the other people have planned, but I've just focused with the bands and all that work. Um, but yeah, I mean, if if one of the girls or has something like a cake sale or whatever, you know, that's not nothing to do with me. I'll stick. <laughs> I'll stick to the music it, sort of thing. If you don't like the cakes, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah. Sort of thing. If there is cakes, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I stick to what I know, which is obviously the music, the bands, um, the stage management side of things. So I'll stick to so that. So how long have you known these bands? Because like you say, they've done it before, so you obviously know them quite well. Um, Velocity, who are playing two sets, I've known since school. Um, Stating the obvious, I've known, and, and Welcome Wait, I've known the Welcome Wait since their very first gig, because I, I went to their very first gig. And when, then, when was that? Oh, was that a recent thing? Um I think you were actually there as oh, well. Right. <laughs> um, you were there, Kevin. It was, Excellent. It was one of the Wednesday nights at the shed. Uh, I think it might have been at the start of the year uh, with Trevor Lott, Arts in Leicester. Um, so that's a fairly well, new band then. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, well, I mean, they were getting on so good. And I was like, right, I'm having you back two days later. And I put them on with Deep Red Thread. Yeah. Um, right. And then the, they've just been so good to me. I've been, you know, it's the same sort of thing. I'm good to them, they're good to mm. me. Staying the obvious, same again. I went Glaston budget with them, um, looked after them pretty well, uh, and then it's just gone from there, really. Okay, let's have another track from the band. We're hoping to hear from uh, Sully from the Woken Wait uh, in the next kind of five, ten minutes. Hopefully, you'll remember uh, to phone in. Let's have a track there from them, which is called uh, uh, Fake Apologies. And uh, I have to click this a few times because last time I tried to play a track, we had a bit of quiet, didn't we? <laughs> And uh, it's happening again now. Let's try the other one. Now they're both playing. I'll play one. This is what I said it was.
making me blind All the words they said Fell on damp ears Maybe I just didn't want to know Am I losing my mind? Am I crazy? Oh, my jealousy set me free I'm so done with your lies And your fake apologies Fake apologies Drive me crazy Fake apologies Drive me crazy Uh, the Woken Way, I'm liking this band a lot, actually. Uh, I'm not liking the computer because it keeps not playing the songs. When I press the button, it's a bit of John Peel going on there. I used to play used to play the records at the wrong speed quite a lot, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I used to have LPs that were 33 and he didn't look, so you get them fast. Or, or the opposite, rain around you get them slow. I used to love that. <laughs> Uh, he's he's like your idol, isn't he? So you're trying, well, yeah, you're I mean, trying I've to do a similar, lo- I've trying got to a lo- emulate that. I've got a CDs. lovely picture in my front room of me and Pilly because I interviewed him after he'd done 25 years on Radio 1. That was in 1992. And he had just a room full of kind of... He'd just been out and bought uh, loads of banging dance music from down the road on, on, on vinyl. Wow. In those days. He had lots of CDs in there because obviously it was before da- you know, downloads and things. But he was the man. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, look him up. Well, you're just showing your age now. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah but he, he was a real forerunner of a lot of music. Anyway, uh, Jamie, uh, yes. back to your night on Thursday. I guess for you, as a promotion company, it's a, about getting people there now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, you know, we've, we're doing the best we can. Uh, we're promoting it up on Facebook, uh, Arts and Leicester, the Sheds website, uh, World of... Well, Word of mouth, uh, obviously now with you guys, uh, the bands there all telling all their friends from school or their fram- f- family, family. Um, but how did the last one go? Because you talked about the one you did the before. Last charity gig we had, uh, we d- we got oh Jesus, rough, no, roughly uh, I think about thirty five people turned up when we raised two hundred quid. It's pretty really? good. Wow. But I mean, mind you, it, it was spread between two stages because we packed out. Yeah both stages full of bands um screen blue murder came and kindly headlined that for us and uh, the exhausted and mm. we had a lot of bands on and this time it is literally just the main stage um so we're going to try and fill it as best we can and uh try and hopefully we've got a rough gamble of trying to uh double what we made last time I mean, you were talking about the World Can Wait, and we hope to hear from them in just a moment yeah. about them being fairly new on the scene. And uh, we talked about Glaston Budget Auditions, and yeah. you're, uh, like you say, you're rather hoping they get I get on next year. I believe that they have, uh, I think they have auditioned. I yeah. I'm, I'm sure they have. I, everybody's waiting to find out who's on there now, I guess, aren't they? To some Quite extent? a few have actually found out. I have mean, they already? Stating yeah. the obvious who are yeah. playing, they've. Yeah. Uh, they're actually through and they're going to Glaston Budget again. Yeah. Um, World Can Wait, I think, missed it by a couple of weeks last year so I believe that I think they've got through as well yeah I must have got Muzz on in the future to find yeah. out who he's put through and who yeah. he hasn't put through because they tend to announce it in stages a bit don't they yeah um, I know they've, all they've announced is that yes bands are playing but they've not announced where they're playing so I think sure. they, d- they do it like in two batches don't yeah, they, yeah, they, they do. right, at this time of year they yeah. announce um, all the people that are playing who have um, in t- who have been auditioned over the last couple of months and then they do it again sort of like March for the next year's lot 
Okay, uh, the phone's just rang, you might have heard it. I think we've got Sully on the line from The World Can Wait. Hi Sully, how are you doing? Hi, uh, I'm all right, thank you. Uh, we just played a couple of your tracks. Um, uh, we're going to play another one in a moment. We've uh, played uh, Rabbit and Headlights and Fake Apologies, but I'm liking the sound of your band, and uh, we've been told that you're fairly new, so just give us a brief history of, of who you are and how it, all, how it all came together. Okay, well, I'm actually with the band now, if anyone will say hello, we're just in the middle yeah. of the practice. Um, it started when uh, me and the guitarist Robbie, uh, we've been wanting to join a start band for quite a long time, and then eventually, uh, I decided, well, about the 5th of December, we uh, decided to get a band and start playing. Okay, and what about, what about influences, because you, you know, quite a good rock sound you've got there, so... Uh, who would you say influences are? Uh, I think the main influence is because um, I help write the songs uh, uh, Unit 6, Muse and um, since about August, Royal Blood. Can you get a bit nearer the phone because you're, you're actually sounding a bit distant. Is that possible? Yeah, sorry, is that better? Yeah, a tiny bit. Kevin's got some questions. Yeah, I was just going to say, hi, hi Sally. Uh, Hello there. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say. I mean, your 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 guitars sound uh, sound quite uh, headbangable and uh, air guitarish. So, wh where did that influence come from? Yeah, um, I don't really know. We just sort of um, played the songs and then thought, oh, that sounds good, and we just sort of played it. So we're just inspired by the things we listen to, like uh, music. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. So I hear. I gather you. Are you actually playing Glaston Budget next year? Uh, yeah, we found out um, last Thursday that we got in. Oh, brilliant. Well done with that. Thank you. We're really uh, happy with the guy in. Uh, I guess they'll let, let you know what stage you're on later, but you could be on the icon stage, couldn't you? Um, hopefully. That'd be really cool if we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Because uh, I get to introduce you if you're on the icon stage, so I look forward to that because I'm liking the sound of the band as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us about this uh, the charity. We've got Jamie in the studio here. Has organised a charity event on on Thursday. Uh, I, you kind of enjoyed playing at the last one, didn't you? So uh, just tell us why you want to be involved again. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what did you say? I, I didn't quite. Did you say why we want to do it? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Um, well, we just like playing. To be honest, uh, anything that helps other people as well is just a bonus. <laughs> Because I mean that's quite a commitment, isn't it? And you're playing there, and you're not getting paid for it, I gather, because all the money's going no, to the yeah. charity, obviously. So, um, but like you say, you just you just enjoy playing. That's brilliant. So what? Um, say so what? How old is the band then? You're quite new, aren't you? When was your first gig? Our first gig was you know, February the twenty-fourth, maybe. Crikey! <laughs> of of two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Blimey. Um, that, so what would you apparently I went to your first your first uh, gig according to I Jamie I think I'm, you did I'm sure you did I might have I don't know I, I, you, you go to so, so many because obviously I, I re do some reviews for good old Trevor at Music in Leicester so I might have done I can't quite remember I'll have to look it up um, but w which would you say is the best gig you've done then in th this year in your short career so far um, uh, I think our Glaston budget audition I think we all would that because we got uh, 41 people to come down including our humanities teacher so <laughs> it was quite uh, a good show right Jamie's nodding I think he agrees with that <laughs> okay well thanks for coming on the show hope it goes well on Thursday uh, we're going to play another track of yours um, uh, called uh, Troubled now do you want to tell us a bit about the song um okay uh, what was it <laughs> <laughs> uh, that song is um um, I, I like that song. Uh, <laughs> sorry, um, uh, it was about um, doubt and um, jealousy about other people. The lyrics were inspired about. So it's quite a bit depressing. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, sorry. Well, thanks for joining us on the program. Anyway, good luck on Thursday. I hope it goes well. Okay, thank you. Cheers. That's uh, sorry. There from the world can wait. Uh, we're going to try and play the, play the track in a minute. But nice to hear. Uh, from him, we'll see a crowd of people. I think it was a bit nervous about the crowd of people in the background. Here's the track, though. It's all to God, but it's an empty sky. A conversation to yourself. Discontent swims in your head. Wearing green glass eyes My reflection screams in the mirror So 
Uh, the world can wait and uh, a song called Troubled and you can see them on Thursday just a quick reminder from Kevin uh, and uh, Jamie about the details of Thursday night so it's Thursday night at the shed what time would that be about half seven eight ish usual I can't remember. gig going uh, sort of time I think the doors I think we've got early doors actually I think it's seven. Oh, seven o'clock um, oh right okay they are actually on, I've got the times actually on my phone brilliant why uh, you look that up so and yeah. it's about a fiver to get in most yep. of that goes to the charity yep um, plus, you can donate while you're there. So, I guess if you're really yeah. enjoying the music, you can give them yeah. a bit more in the buckets and all that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some door, top bands by the sounds of it as yeah, well. Yeah, Doors are at seven. Uh, then Castle Hill, the uh, duo acoustic act, they open it up uh, quarter past seven. Uh, and then Velocity take the stage for the set one. Velocity do covers as well as their own stuff, is that right? Uh, they are actually working on their own. Um, I mean, apparently they've played it, but. I mean, I've seen them that many times. I couldn't tell you whether I've seen original or, <laughs> or cover. I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, um, and then stating the obvious, and then the, the guys that we've been talking about, the welcome wait at nine o'clock, uh, and then velocity set two at nine forty. You can come off stage at ten twenty. So it's an early night, but you know, it's a, it's a Thursday, so it's probably best that it's an early night. And you've got a Facebook page, haven't you, for the event yeah, as well? Yeah, um, you can find the event page on LC Promotions' Facebook page or any of the bands that are playing. Um, it's actually titled LC Promotions Proudly Presents a Rainbows Charity Event at the Shed, I believe. Well, remember <laughs> something so like that, yeah. See, so you're struggling to remember that then. <laughs> it was there. Yeah. So, the quickest thing, go to LC Promotions. Yeah, Facebook yeah, page. yeah, or just, any of the bands. Just as a, as a rough guess, is LC for Leicester City? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but man. I mean, we I don't, don't usually get we don't really right. sit there and say Leicester City Promotions. It's, I mean, that is the name of it. Yeah. We just call it LC Promotions. It's just short and sweet. Yeah, it's just short and sweet. Helping to put Leicester on the map. Yeah, basically. yeah, and I mean, you know, with that, I'm getting some good responses from out of town bands wanting to come play at Leicester which is obviously a good thing so brilliant I was going to ask a bit earlier actually you're talking about how you promote the um, gig do the charity themselves promote it I mean we, we we've posted it on their their wall um, but obviously due to it being Christmas they are so busy they yeah, I mean, sure. we're, we're, we're struggling to get in contact with them <laughs> we're putting a, a gig on for them in two days yeah. um but I mean, our, the last one that we did, I think they actually did make a post for us on their wall saying, you know, this is happening. Um, but I mean, obviously, we I want to build a bit more of a relationship with Rainbows, mm. you know, so we can mm. get it a lot better and whatnot. You never know. LC Promotions might be Rainbows' official event planner. Ooh, there That's you go. That's that, an ambition, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> well, it could happen, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah. It'd be good if they did promote you, though, because obviously yeah, that would be a way into other other people who support uh, yeah, the charity I mean, as well. I mean, w- we can only do so much promoting. I mean, it would be so much. I mean, Rainbows has got a lot, a big following. Mm. So I mean, I know, very popular. Aren't yeah, they? They I mean, it, I mean, if they could, yeah, like you say, if they <laughs> helped us promote it, it'd be brilliant. But mm. due to Christmas, you know, they're, they're so busy. Yeah, I guess so. So. Let's hope they raise a lot of money anyway. On uh, yeah, Thursday, yeah, I hope th- we do. Yeah, yeah, thanks very much for coming in. Yeah, thank you for having me, John. You can have a lie down now, can't you? Oh, thanks. <laughs> how, how was it, Jamie? How was it for you? Oh, it, interview. I wouldn't want to do it with any other people. <laughs> if I'm honest. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Uh, uh, that's Jamie then about um, uh, the shed on Thursday. Uh, get down there. Uh, certainly, if I'm uh, if I'm going on the world can wait. It's going to be a good night. Uh, okay, we're going to move on to Casino Empire. For what yep. reason? Well, it's t- uh, tonight, Tuesday, it's their Glaston Budget audition. One of our favourite bands, Casino Empire. Um, they're hope- hopefully going to be playing Glaston Budget next year. Um, we're about to play one of their songs, and um, people who are listening, they can help get the band through. If they like the song, turn up to the shed tonight, about 7.30, 7-ish, and uh, you can vote for the band yourselves. So here we have their old classic, Shine On, by Casino Empire. You see it, how wide see the lights. Come on, we've never been so tight. Fading across the empty lands. You can see the pain. And now
uh, Casino Empire and Shine On. If you go to the shed tonight, they're auditioning for Glaston Budget. A fine band. I hope to see them uh, at the festival next year. Love that song. Love that band. Apparently they had a really good, um, I think it was an EP launch gig at the weekend at mm-hmm. the Crumbling Cookie. Looking at the videos, that was absolutely heaving. Crowd surfing, all sorts going on. Brilliant yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think uh, Midnight Wire got in touch with me actually about, they've got a gig on uh uh, is it Thursday or Friday? I Friday, yes. Yeah, because got, I said I was working, so I couldn't go. But like, uh, they've got their album launch. That's gig, right, because we uh, previewed it a little while ago. Didn't yes, we? at the Y Theatre. Yes, yeah, um, which will be great. I wish I could have gone to that. There's um, too many gigs to go to. There, are, there are. But I mean, the Y Theatre. Have you been to the Y Theatre? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you have, of course yeah. I have. It's a lovely big venue. It's a bit different to most of the others because it's really big. It's got. An, it works well, an old. Well, last theater, time I was there, it? I was doing a, a Leicester's Got Talent competition. We had dancers oh, yeah, and, and, and singers and a drummer and stuff so yeah nice venue actually it is really really nice quite elaborate so i hope that goes well anyway for midnight wire um okay so coming up we've got a interview i did a couple of weeks ago with um sue lavender from the sound house the recently refurbished sound house uh so we'll be chatting to her but first of all before the interview we'll be playing a band who play at the sound house uh, a few times and one of sue's favorites soundtrack and empty bottles one two one two three four It's Kevin here with Sue Lavender, uh, the owner of a Sound House in Leicester. Welcome, Sue. Hi. 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 <laughs> and I uh, noticed you've got done a slight refurbishment as well, haven't you, recently? Yes, we have. Uh, not before time. 
Um, it looks a lot bigger. It does, a wider, I would say. Wider, yeah. So I think um, the capacity has gone up by probably 30 odd people. Mm -hmm. um, it looks a lot tidier, cleaner. It's very good. It does, that's right. I, like, I like the flooring. Yeah. Very um, sort of kind of wine barish at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, got rid of the old curtains. Um, the toilets have all been done up. I noticed yeah. that sparkly uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. top thing in the in the blokes. Don't know what the ladies is like. Pretty much similar. <laughs> <laughs> different Excellent. colour, a bit pinkish. Yeah. Oh, right, uh, nice. Yeah, it's nice. Um, got a few nice. more bits to do, yeah. but it's all time and money, and um, yeah. we need to carry on. Excellent. Uh, I know you've still got the same sound system, same light system, which is top class in, in Leicester, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. Um, that's really, really good. You must. Is it true, the rumours I've heard about the lights at the back, the really bright light, really bright ones, are they from an aeroplane or something? They're from a, yes, from a landing strip. Really? Yeah, they, they take a lot of power, which is why they don't get used that often. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How much is light for you? Is it megawatts or... Oh, I don't know. Oh, all right, just the, the, the lighting engineer, that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And I have to say, the sound is always brilliant, hence the yeah. sound out. Yeah, we've got um, no plans of changing that because we're quite happy with yeah. it. The sound Not thought about calling it the lighthouse, hence the lights? No. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> because it's all about sound. The lights are just a little bit extra. I agree, yes. Yeah, good point, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's a very good point. So, so tell me, what sort, of, what sort of year have you had then this year, we've in 2014? We've not had a bad year. Um, it's been quite successful. We've had two or three sellout shows. We have. By the there's been a few changes, haven't there, as well? Yes. Um, Joel's left. Um, he's gone on. He, he was the manager, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was the manager and the booking. He booked the, the bands and things. Um, he's left. He's gone on to do new things. Um, so we've now got Greg. Greg Poole. He's doing very well. He's mm -hmm. just started. How long has he been here? About six weeks. Right. He's done things in the past for me, but he's now um, promotions and venue manager. So that's. So you got Greg, and then so that's the manager, is it? He's the manager, and he's also the booking agent. Right. And you've got a promoter as well, a new promoter. No, right. we have in-house promoters, right. um, out outside promoters, oh, and, right. and Greg is the main promoter. Oh, I that's, see. Yeah. What about crowd-wise? This year, has, has it been? Have you noticed crowds building? Has it has it been more popular than usual? Or? Well, we've had um, we've had a few good gig gigs on this year, last year, yeah, this year. Yeah. So um, so the crowd, we've had a couple of sellout gigs. We had the by the rivers that was sellout. We had mm. real friends that was sellout. Um, yeah. So the crowds are picking up. I think. Yeah, it's been a better year. You think so? Yeah. Because I know says there's there's a few more venues these days, aren't they? You've yeah, got to compete yeah, with. Yeah. Um, would you say there's too many venues in Leicester, or? I think um, I think the venues that we have in Leicester are pretty different to each other. Yeah, that's true. You play you generally play different genres, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Different genres, different capacities, different venues. Really. So you all kind of complement each other, which is yeah, that's a good point. I hope so. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, I think on the whole we try to work together. Mm. Yeah. Brilliant. So what would you say is the best gig you've had this year, 2014? The best gig? One of the best gigs was by the Rivers. Mm -hmm. um, really I know they always get the place packed, yes, don't they? Yeah. I um, remember Random Hand was a pretty good gig. Yeah, yeah. Random <laughs> Hand. Uh, too Many Teas we've had this year, which was a good gig. Right. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. I have so many gigs that you tend to yeah. get. But no, a few stand out. Yeah, okay. Um, plans for next year? Um, we've got some good gigs coming up next year. We Pot Will Eat Itself. Pot Will Eat Itself, which is... Um, that's well on the way to selling out already. Right. And it's in May or something, isn't it? May. Also, I'm yeah. looking forward to that one. Better get me ticket um, quick. We've got um, John Bramwell on in February oh. and uh, of I Am Clute. Um, we've also got Steve Craddock of Ocean Colour Scene coming yeah. up in February. Um yeah, so we've got we've got some January is slow, but January always is. Yes, um, it's it's save, save, yeah, they're saving the money off the Christmas, all going, yeah. going um, sale shopping and all that. Yeah, but yeah. that'll give us time to carry on doing at finishing the refurb and and just doing the finishing touches. All right, such as. Um, finishing off the painting, uh, getting me photo frames and things up. That's true, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just little finishing touches that Excellent. we need to carry on with. Oh, I look forward to that, and presumably Ox Jam and all that, you'll be yeah, there. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, we'll, we'll still be here for all of that. Good, yeah. look forward to that. We look forward to that, we always look forward to that. Um, we're looking to, in the summer, do a few more outside gigs in the garden. Oh. We've got a nice garden, it's a big garden, it's a sun trap, and we're looking to build a little stage at the bottom so that we can do outdoor acoustic gigs. Mm, that sounds good. And then probably, you know, in the evening, move into the venue. Yeah. Barbecues, things like that, yeah. Excellent. Um, can pe- how can people get hold of you? Facebook page, website? Facebook page, website. Which, which is called? It's uh, www.soundhouselester.co.uk. Um, you can book you can book tickets on there. Um, Facebook, they're the, they're the main the main ones. Yeah. Brilliant, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Sue. Thank you. And uh, and we're going to play one of your favourite bands as well from a from a previous gig, presumably the Bench That Rocks. Yes. So here's the Bench That Rocks. And that was um, an interview with Sue Lavender from the Soundhouse, followed by The Bench That Rocked, another one of her favourite uh, favorite bands who play regularly at the venue. Yeah, I've seen them a couple of times as well. And they do rock. They do, definitely. Uh, I do remember the interview with them, actually, uh, talking about why they call themselves The Bench That Rocked. And it was because they had a bench that rocked, wasn't it? It, uh, sort it, of. it wasn't quite that straightforward, <laughs> actually. I remember it was a bit convoluted, but it was... to. Do, was it to do, it was to do with a bench and a rocking motion, I believe, but something else. 
uh, in a different context. Actually, I'll just be quite no. That I was just thinking it might be quite interesting if they actually came on stage with a bench. <laughs> okay. Or, or would that well, not? I'm going to talk about Rapture Sound now because yes. we did an interview uh, with the lead singer of Rapture Sound. Christopher, yes. Christopher, yes. Uh, yes, about trying to get a female singer and uh, a player of an instrument I didn't understand. Mm. Uh, but let's talk about the singer thing because it could be that next year we might be revealing a new front person. Yes, to Raptor, Raptor Sound, that would be great. Which would be quite good for next year, wouldn't yeah. it, really? Uh, he did tell me, when I spoke to him last, he did say that I had quite a few people who were interested in auditioning uh, for for the job, That's so right. to speak. So. And it'll be, I think it'll be, because they're, they're, they're going to be playing more sort of northern soul type stuff, I think, aren't they? They're sort of focusing towards that direction. So that sounds like a, it would be a great addition to the mix. Um, however, I suppose, because I really like their old stuff, you know, it was a bit more rocky, like um, Alibi. I can see Christopher still singing almost a bit, you know. He must do. He's got he, a great voice as Yes, well. he has. So it would be a good to have a mix of male female, wouldn't it, I think? I yes. think that would work quite well. Yes, it will. And it, but then on the other hand, it will give him the opportunity because he plays lead. I think he plays lead guitar. Yeah, yeah he, he does, does. He does. Yeah. So it will give him an opportunity to really let rip on that and be and be like the show person. But then if they've got a female, then she would want to be. So the Rapture Sound yeah. update will come in uh, 2015. Meanwhile, is a track I think uh, got a bit of national play. I think I've said this before. It's a really good track. It's called uh, "It's Over." It's not quite over. It's just changing. So maybe it should be called "Changing." <laughs> I saw you in 
like the keyboard in that. Uh, it's over from uh, Rapture Sound, who are due to change their lineup significantly next year, and we'll bring you uh, the sounds when it happens. I guess, you know, get a singer means one thing, get it a recording done. Another thing's probably going to take quite a long time, could be the middle of next year uh, it before could we be. hear new stuff, couldn't it, really? But- but they've got a yeah, and he was also telling us they've got a um, a professional um, guy helping them out, wasn't it? Yeah, he? he's telling them what to do, what not to do. I'm always a bit worried about good. things like that, though. Why? Uh, well, you know, it's one person and their idea of what's good and what isn't good. But he's yeah, but he's got he's he's, he's got some background in. He in has, hasn't he? Thing. Got some um, quite big contacts and all the rest of that with big record labels and all but that. But you can't make a name for yourself using YouTube and SoundCloud. Yeah, now, anyway, can't but you? I, th- I think he should have quite a good idea <laughs> of um, of what sounds good and what doesn't. Okay, we've got uh, time for one more track. I'm going to play. To- uh, this is a group I've liked for a while since we. Uh, we're at um, uh, the big de- gig at Demont some years ago that's now no more. Oh, Summer Sunday. Summer Sunday. Uh, Kite, who we did interview Ooh, on yes. the day, didn't we? And it would be a nice project next year to find out what Kite are doing. Yes. I do have a friend of my other halves in Japan, because they're quite All big right. in Japan, weren't they? They were, yes. So I'm going to see if he knows about them and can find oh, out about yeah. them. And Kite, by the way, spelled K-Y-T-E, isn't yes. it? Yes. Why don't we just look, look them up on Facebook, I suppose? I think we should. Uh, I'm right. going to play, to take us out of the show today, I'm going to play, uh, I'm never quite sure how to say this, I-H-N-F-H-A. Infosa, maybe, something like that. Anyway, that's Perhaps it for this it's Japanese. It could be, couldn't it? <laughs> okay, Kevin. Uh, Thank you very much, John. Have a good week. Thank you. Uh, sport coming up next.